Today I am trying to make a uh, citrus, orange or lemon juicer. I saw it uh, online, someone was making it and I thought I'd give it a try. So I tried to uh, center to approximately the width of the juicer and uh, to consider the function of the juicer because uh, uh, you are going to uh, put your hand there so you need to have a little bit of room um, when you are squeezing it so uh, a little bit of uh, a width a little bit wider Okay, so this is about, uh, my guess is about uh, between 5 and 6 inches wide. And then um, I'm going to throw an inside for the juicer part. So uh, we're going to throw a, uh, a kind of a, a, a small cone shape. But it's going to be hollow inside, so I'm opening it all the way to the bat without leaving any clay. Right, so no clay in there. Can remove the clay. And then while keeping this part a little bit higher, uh, I'm going to just push down. So there's a little groove inside here, pushing it down out. And probably, I don't need to have so much clay in the middle. I need to use the needle tool to check the uh, thickness depending on if you want to uh, trim the bottom or not trim the foot or not uh, this is about a little bit more than quarter of an inch And if you wanted to, you can use a, uh, a, wood, a wood knife to go and scrape up all the clay. Uh, I, I did a very good job on cleaning, so I don't, I don't need to do that. But uh, 
if you are worried about uh, having too much clay there, it's a good idea to clean it up. So before I seal it, I like to remove the slip. Usually when you have a slip, it might uh, crack later on. So it's a good idea to remove all the slip before you close it. So before I uh, pick it up from the wheel, I like to uh, make the region now. Uh, since the air is trapped inside, so uh, I should be able to draw the, the line uh, deep enough. Right, so I just roughly uh, get all the ridges and uh, lay down when it's a little bit uh, drier. I will use a knife to uh, cover it up. I will show you how to do that when I'm ready to, uh, to trim it. Right, and then uh, I'm going to make a, a spout for easier pull it out. But before I make the spout, I would like to cut the, uh, cut the foot off, cut the corner, clean it up. All right, making a spout. Put my finger there to uh, kind of uh, push it while I'm lifting it using my uh, right right finger, right index finger. So this is to define how wide you want your spout. Like here, I right, push it in and slightly go in there and push. And if you want a sharp uh, corner, sharp edge, can use a fingertip to uh, to kind of slightly pinch it. Okay, first you are uh, pinching it up to make the uh, the lips a little bit sh sharper. Pinch it up. And then you push it. Push it outward. Put 
Got a bit of water too. I'm going to poke a hole on the top so that the air can come out and tomorrow you will seal it. Okay, so uh, a little bit since I'm not going, I won't be able to trim the, the rim so uh, to make it more interesting and uh, tomorrow I will finish of uh, cutting all the ridges and the uh, trim so that it will be cleaner. All right, so that's the uh, juicer.